Sensing danger, scientists at the University of Rhode Island say they've come up with a way to better detect bombs that are now being used by terrorists. Of course, in Boston, we know all too well how easy it is for someone to make a bomb and how difficult it is for police to detect them before it's too late. But as Bree Season shows us, a more advanced technique will soon be in use. Fire in the hole! It's a five-inch pipe bomb in a mailbox set off by scientists at the University of Rhode Island. From a safety bunker, we witnessed the damage that can be done with household chemicals. It's hard to shut down legitimate chemicals. Acetone and hydrogen peroxide are legitimate chemicals. Dr. Jimmy Oxley, a professor of chemistry, demonstrates TATP in a quantity much smaller than the suicide vests worn in the Paris terrorist attacks. We talk about chem bio, we talk about nuclear. All of those require a different level of sophistication. Sure. Explosives don't. They're really going to be hard to counter. Q fellow URI professor Dr. Otto Gregory. You start talking to your colleagues about other problems that you can maybe lend a hand on. This so chemical this engineer spent almost a decade developing a sensor to detect vapors emitted by TATP, the same chemical combination used by shoe bomber Richard Reed and in the London attacks of 2005. We're just trying to get to the end game as fast as possible so we can get our detection system out there uh, as fast as possible so it can actually help people. We would see a spike in that. Grad student Zach Carone shows us the system URI developed with funding from the Department of Homeland Security. This is really the size of my nail. Two tiny sensors packaged into a suitcase and monitored by a laptop begin field testing this year at a port and an airport. Places explosives experts say need the kind of clarity provided by Dr. Otto's device. It reduces false alarm, and that's really what's special about his sensor. In Kingston, Rhode Island, Bree Season, WBC News.